hi thanks for following along with this made central video as we will be showing you what happens if a customer has a recurring tip on their account and if they go ahead and leave a tip from the scorecard what the end result will be um, for that tip so you can see here I've got two customers set up you click the edit pencil and that will show you if they have a recurring tip or not so there's the first customer and the second customer will click on the pencil here both of these jobs were done today, so we're going to demonstrate this right now. So heading over to my invoicing and job records report under company invoicing and job records, you can see here today's date and we've got a $50 tip added to Susan's account, that $40 tip added to BJ Honeycuts. So we're going to do a couple different examples. First, we're going to go to our scorecards and we're going to leave a tip before we click the create invoice button and see the end results of what happens there. So heading over to my scorecards, this is for Susan's job. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on We're Thrilled. And great job today. And go ahead and leave a different amount tip. So we'll change it to 45 and send feedback. All right, so now we've submitted that tip from our scorecard. Heading back over to our invoicing and job records report. Again, Susan's this job here who normally does a $50 recurring tip. We just changed it to 45 from the scorecard. Let's see what happens here. So as you can see, the 45 new tip overrid the $50 tip and it's now added $45 from the scorecard feedback versus her recur recurring tip of $50. So the last one submitted wins is really the best way to think about it when it comes to someone with a recurring tip that leaves a different a tip mount on the scorecard um, email feedback response. All right, so we've demonstrated that example. So the next example we're gonna do is we're gonna leave BJ's um, $40 tip on there, and we're gonna go ahead down here and create invoices for today's job. So I'm just making sure that everything's completed for today. We're good to go and create invoices. So what's gonna happen now is uh, like the system always does, it's going to take that tip amount that's on there the $40 for BJ, for example, and it's going to charge his card that additional $40 on top of his regular bill rate. Um, the first job for Susan, it's going to charge her card $45 instead of the $50 that we had set up the first time. So you can see here, Susan had the $45. Her total was $195. BJ stayed at $40, leaving his total at $198. So, you know that you, there is an option under Company General Features that allows for you to give customers the opportunity to leave a tip after the job is invoiced from the scorecard response. You, we do have that enabled. So again, I'm gonna head back over to my scorecards and I'm gonna find that email for BJ. And here we go. So this was his job from today. We're gonna tell him that we're thrilled and show you what happens in the end results. And so let's add a tip of $30 and send feedback. Okay. So let's head back over to Made Central. And again, we already charged his card and got the money for the $40 tip. Now he's left an additional $30 on the scorecard after we invoice the job. So what's that gonna do? It's gonna open a ticket for me on the dashboard to let me know that the customer left the tip after the job was invoiced for $30. So in order for me to collect that $30, in addition to the $40, we would go over here. And again, this is stuff that you wanna confirm with your customers to make sure that they remember that they have a recurring tip set up and make sure that they do want to pay a total of $70 in tip for today's jobs and just make sure you know that there wasn't just a typo or anything like that. So you can see here that we have the $30 that we just added and we've already invoiced this job. From my QuickBooks tab, I'll need to click on today's invoice and make sure I can add that $30 to the team that did today's cleaning. So I've got my add tip option because I have not closed payroll, so I can still do this for right from here for today's job. 
I'm going to add the $30, put add tip. It's going to create a new invoice with additional $30 for me. Gives me the opportunity to now charge his card for that additional $30. And now we've done the both examples. So we've shown you that if a customer with a recurring tip leaves a tip before invoices are created, that tip amount from the scorecard will override their recurring tip amount. And then we've also demonstrated after invoices are created, if an additional tip is left, you would then add that to the team's invoice for that job for the day. Thank you.